Good morning, almost afternoon, if I'm being completely honest with you, and welcome back to my vlog. Welcome back to my floor where I'm sitting and playing with the dog as per usual because that's how she eats. I'm excited to be with you today. My husband has actually gone into the office, which allows me to freely vlog and film and be loud and chatty and do what I need to do without risk of bothering him, which is wonderful. So here we are. Today in this vlog, we're going to do a little bit of everything, to be honest with you. Of course, we're going to talk about what I eat in a day to lose weight. I'm very excited about what I'm eating today, to be completely honest with you. I have some great, great meals planned. And yes, it's already 11 o'clock. Like I said, I have not eaten breakfast yet. I have been up. I've been reading. I've been doing Bible studies. I've been doing or my one Bible study. I have been working on a course that I'm taking and I've just been keeping busy and doing things and finally decided, hey, I should sit down and talk to the camera this morning. So I'm excited to eat food. I'm about to get ready to go and eat my breakfast and I will walk you through everything that I am eating today um, within a calorie deficit range. As per usual, normal disclaimer, I don't tell you specifically what my specific calorie goal or macro goal is because everybody is different and everybody needs to have macros and calories calculated specifically for their needs, for their body, for their habits, for their lifestyle, right? So I will be sharing with you what I'm eating, but you're not going to know here is my total. What I don't want you guys to do is to be like, oh, this 1500 calorie goal, this 1700 calorie goal, this 1900 calorie goal. Um, if it works for her, it works for me. If it doesn't work for her, maybe I should eat less, blah, 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 blah. It, everything is individualized in the wonderful world of nutrition. So you get to see what I eat, guaranteeing you that it is within my specific plan. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like just thinking about the food that I'm making today. Oh, so pumped. Anyway, other things that I need to get done today. We are once again, I jinxed it, y'all. I had the audacity to put my big, fluffy, fuzzy clothes, my furry PJs. Oh, hello. My big furry PJs, my Sherpa lined stuff that I've barely touched this winter, I had the audacity to put it in the cold weather clothes bin. And now we are under winter weather advisory yet again. Should have seen it coming. Sorry guys, if you're in the Minnesota area, it's my fault. I had the audacity to put my clothes away. Silly me. <laughs> so we're under winter weather advisory, um, which is fine because I don't have to go anywhere today. I just get to stay home and I get to cook and I get to clean. I need to work out and I need to film today. Those are the things on my to-do list. The other thing that I have to do today is I actually have to sit down and do my Cultivate What Matters power sheets for April and for Q2, it is a quarterly goals refresh time because my Patreon goal setting chat happens tonight. This is where the members of my Patreon and I get together over Zoom and we discuss our goals for the upcoming month. And it's always a fun conversation that involves us being able to bounce ideas off of each other. Some people come with goals already hashed out. Other people come not really knowing and kind of talking things through. And it's a great little hour of time that we get together to plan our goals. So that has to happen tonight. And I need to do the, the, my own personal goal setting because all of a sudden like April snuck up on me. I was like, oh, it's time. It's time to film my reset. It's time to do do the goal setting chat. I need to get my goals done. I also have some tidying up that I need to do. I just feel like this place is in a constant state of disarray, which is ridiculous because I feel like I'm always cleaning. You guys, I say, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again. It is very, very hard to strike the balance between wanting to spend all of my time at the computer, doing things, creating content, working in my business and the work that it takes to keep this household running. I tell ya, it is, <laughs> it's something special as somebody with no children no children and housewifing is still a full-time job. It's absolutely mind boggling to me. So we have all of that stuff happening for us today. I have some stuff that I've recently gotten in the mail that I want to show you, things that I've shopped for that I want to show you. And we need to have a little chat later because I had a kind of personal come to Jesus moment that I want to tell you about as well. But first, breakfast. Are you eating breakfast too? Eat your food, Gracie. I moved. I acted as though I was about to get up off the floor and she immediately stopped eating. Gracie, eat your food. It's okay. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time for mama too. All right, so the first thing that I consumed, I actually consumed before I sat down and you're gonna think it's a little weird and you're also gonna think it's a little on trend and not in the good way, but <laughs> hear me out, okay? So have you heard of those like 
internal shower things that people are doing where they're hydrating a whole bunch of chia seeds or whatever and drinking it and you know it's their internal flush and their blah 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 and they're using it to promote weight loss and whatever the heck else they want to promote right um well i kind of did the same thing not for the purposes of weight loss but solely for the purpose of extra fiber consumption and so what i did was i took these i love these i am obsessed with these zen basil seeds are my new chia seeds okay they are far superior in terms of nutritional content to the chia seed and don't get me wrong the chia seed is a very superior seed and something that is great for fiber and health and healthy fats and all of those things right chia seed is awesome this thing is superior I've talked about it on this channel before. It has omega-3s, it's high in fiber, it has anti-inflammatory properties, it has flavonoids and polyphenols and all of those things. Um, just one gram of hydrated basil seeds has enough antioxidants to absorb 15% of your free radicals. I've never actually read that before. I took one tablespoon, the serving size on here is two tablespoons. I took one tablespoon, half of the serving size. It gave me three grams of fat, 65 calories, uh, 7.5 carbs, all of which are fiber, all of which are fiber. And what I did was when I pre-tracked my day, one of the nutrients that I track to make sure I'm getting enough is my fiber content. And I was behind and I was like, okay, girl needs to get some extra fiber in her diet today. How are we gonna do that? So I took a tablespoon of this, I put it in my little glass mug and I completely fill it up with water. And these little teeny tiny seeds expand to i don't know five or six times their size and they turn into this kind of to be frank gelatinous goo um think boba tea but on like a very small scale right very, very tiny little bobas um and then i because i'm weird i actually don't find it um disgusting to drink i literally just take it and i chug it I chug it once it has been hydrated. So I let this thing sit down here for like an hour. And then I came downstairs and I saw it and I was like, oh right, I made this thing and I chugged it. And it got me my first bit of calories for the day and it got me all of that extra fiber because the breakfast I have prepared actually doesn't have a whole lot of fiber in it. Um, and that is this. This is the skinny-ish dish biscuits and gravy bake. And if you have not tried this, you need to try it. It is epic. It is delicious. One sixth of the recipe is the serving size for under 300 calories. Yes, it has biscuits. It has egg beaters instead of regular eggs. You can modify it, I would think, to do whatever the heck you want. If you want to use regular eggs, use regular eggs. I personally really like the macro content for the delicious flavor you get. There's actual gravy in here. Like you buy the McCormick homestyle gravy mix and you make that and you pour it in here. There's turkey sausage, there's cheese. It is delicious. And when I prep it, I don't have to cook breakfast for a week, which is awesome. So that is what I'm having for breakfast to this morning. I had this and I had a tablespoon of these. All right. The first thing I want to share so I can get rid of all of this packaging, but I got a PR package for the first time in a really long time. And I'm really excited. This was just a company that reached out to me and they're like, Hey, we want to send you stuff. No strings attached. And I was like, heck yes. Cause I had heard of this brand, the brand mad hippie skincare really really excited to give these things a try um so much so that i kind of opened three of the four of them when i got the package yesterday um so what they sent me i don't know what's better to show you the box or to show you the actual product but what they sent was their mad hippie face cream this is a very very small little container of the face cream however i learned the hard way yesterday that literally like a third of a pump is all you need I did a whole pump and I had so much cream on my face that I, I looked at my husband and I was like, do you need face cream? You get face cream. And I like took the extra that was in my hands and rubbed it all over his face because it was far too much. And this morning when I applied it, I literally went like boop and it was the littlest bit and it was plenty for my entire face. And let me tell you, my face feels so good after one use of these three products that I have used. So I use, or I guess two of the face cream. I'm really excited about this. I'm excited about all of it, but their vitamin C serum has a very, very solid reputation. And that I used this morning. That's what this looks like right here. And it's a generous amount. Like this looks small, right? It's a one ounce bottle. But when you're doing a serum where you only need a couple of drops, it's a great value, right? So I'm really excited and I hope this works because my other product that I use, my uh, bio elements, is 60 something dollars for the same ounce just in a different type of bottle, right? Third thing that I got 
which is another thing that has a great reputation, is their Corrective Peptide Serum. That's this bottle right here. So I used this serum last night, and I used this serum this morning. Both of them have um, thickness to them. It's not like putting a face oil on your face. There's a little bit more viscosity to them, um, which I'm not mad about. They actually feel really good. This one smells like orange. It smells amazing. Really, really pumped about that. And then the fourth thing that I got was this protective, daily protective serum, which is your SPF. I'm not entirely sure. I have to research a little bit further about what this entails. It is a physical sunscreen and it's very liquidy. I did try it out. You're supposed to shake it up really, really good. You can hear the beads in there shaking things up. I think this is not meant to replace your moisturizer, but to be a part of your routine before your daily moisturizer when you're gonna be out in the sun. So there's that. And then I did get, and I'm really thankful, I don't know if it always comes like this or if this is because it was a PR box, I got this. But when I opened the vitamin C serum this morning, I did get a single use sample of their AHA exfoliating peel, which is also a serum. It's a leave-on chemical exfoliant. And in my routine by my esthetician, prescribed by my esthetician, I have, that I'm really bad at using, chemical exfoliants that I'm supposed to use three times a week. So if this product works really well, then great, I have a new chemical exfoliant that I can use. Um, so that was my little gift from Mad Hippie. Thank you, Mad Hippie, for sending this over. I'm super, super excited to see what using all of these products does for my skin. Um, like I said, with a single use of both serums and two uses of the face cream, I'm loving it so far. All right, next thing we are looking at is my Nespresso haul. I did go to the Mall of America and restocked on some of my faves. I was running out of my usual, and then I got a couple of surprises, which is just so nice. So uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't know if I've actually mentioned it on the channel or not, but my go-to for Nespresso coffee pods is Melozio and Stormio, and both of those come in a boosted formula, which has a little bit more caffeine, which I really like for my morning cup because I stopped drinking coffee in the morning. So I got two Melozio boosts and I got two Stormio boosts. Oh good, they threw in a recycle bag. I didn't even see them do that, fantastic. Then I walked in and literally squealed with glee because look what they had in stock. For those of you that don't know, this is the packaging of their holiday flavors. Yes, it was March 28th when I went. Um, they got peppermint pinwheel, and yeah, I already busted that sucker open because you guys know I'm using peppermint mocha nut pods from now until I run out, which is going to be a few months. And this was a really solid combination. So I bought two peppermint pinwheel, so elated, so, so happy. And then I never got to try the gingerbread one, but they had this in stock too. So I grabbed one gingerbread one, which I think I'm gonna have to buy some half and half or something. Cause like, I'm not gonna use the peppermint mocha nut pods on gingerbread coffee. So maybe I gotta go get some half and half. And then I bought these, this was a splurge and this was, this was kind of impulsive and I could have left it, but this is the special reserve Hawaii Kona double espresso pods. I was kind of hoping that the Kona blend was a, a cup of coffee like the rest of them, but it's a double espresso and I love Kona coffee. Kona coffee is one of the things my, that my grandfather actually told me about and there was this little local breakfast place back home that I actually, when we lived in Chicago or outside of Chicago, um, we were right down the street from, walking distance, easy, five minute walk from our condo. And we went there a couple of times, but my I remember going there with my grandfather once and he always said the coffee was so good, it was Kona coffee. And so I've always just like had a, um, oh, Kona coffee, it must be good. Like that's just kind of been my assumption because grandpa thinks it's good, right? So I bought this and need to learn how to like make some lattes or something out of that. And then, super nice of them, but they gave me another free container of their con con Tecanto, which is a single espresso pod, single espresso pod. So I have, and I've gotten free ones of this before. So I took to Instagram and asked you guys what to do with the espresso pods. Um, Y'all told me, you gave me excellent tips and tricks, uh, but that was my Nespresso haul. So now I'm going to continue this whole cleaning process. 
All right, friends, things, thing number two that I wanted to show you, I got a shipment and by I got, I mean, I purchased, I became an affiliate of the brand New Primal. And yes, I'm becoming an affiliate of a bunch of different brands nowadays. And it's because I've been trying new things and having easier access to affiliate programs and things of that nature. So I have decided that, you know, if it's something that I use and I love and or will be using and loving after I try them and enjoy them, then it doesn't hurt, right? It never hurts to become an affiliate of the program for the product that you're using. So um, with my acceptance into the affiliate program, I had a discount code so I could order things and try them, right? And I've actually, I've had these before. I know I've had snack mates before because I think I got them as a freebie once in one of my Thrive Market boxes, and which is wonderful. And I remember really enjoying them because they tasted good, but also the macronutrients. So I ordered a little bit of everything that was within a flavor profile I would enjoy to make sure that I could try everything. So for example, I ordered the adult stuff. Of the adult stuff, I got the classic beef sticks, which have six grams of protein and 80 calories per single stick. I also ordered the lightly peppered turkey. They didn't have like a plain turkey, which I thought was a little bit weird, but this is seven grams of protein for only 45 calories. That's pretty epic, pretty epic. And then as you can tell, I ordered a crap ton of the kids ones. I ordered the variety pack, which had like one of each in a set of five. So the flavors that are available are chicken jerky in pizza. Look at the macros on these guys. Look, look at the macros on these. For two sticks, 50 calories and eight grams of protein. For the whole shebang, the whole five, <laughs> five sticks, 140 calories and 19 grams of protein. I had to have them. Kids or no kids, these are awesome macro balances. So I got the pizza ones, I got the turkey ones, which are 45 calories per two sticks with seven grams of protein. I got chicken and apple, which is 50 calories per two sticks with seven grams of protein. And then I got, or that's chicken and maple, I'm sorry, I can read. And then this one is chicken and apple which is 60 calories and seven grams of protein for two sticks. So I don't care that this is marketed for kids because I'm gonna eat this and it's gonna be awesome. So now in my effort to put things away, I need to divide all of these up, find a place to store them, et cetera, et cetera. And here's what I've decided I'm going to do. It is noon now. I am going to put on my housewifing hat for one hour. I'm gonna pop in a podcast and I'm just gonna go. And whatever I can get done in that hour is what I get done. And then I'm going to go work out, shower, whatever, and switch into YouTuber mode. So wish me luck. Want you close, maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. or more specifically, my tuna salad stuffed peppers. So I'm going to start with this mayo. Um, I go back and forth between using light mayo for caloric reasons and using the avocado oil mayo for nutrition reasons, right? So I'm gonna throw in one tablespoon 
of the avocado oil mayo because today I'm focused more on nutrition than I am on um, saving calories. My meal plan today has room in the calories to spare, so that's great. Then I'm going to use some dill relish zero calories so I just kind of plop some in there and then another zero calorie hack y'all are gonna think I'm crazy but wait it gets crazier I start with some Dijon mustard organic Dijon mustard again zero calories adds extra creaminess y'all extra creaminess and so then you take that mixture and you mix it all up and it gets all weird and gross looking as it does right but wait I'm gonna make it a little bit weirder are you ready teeny dash of soy sauce blip, 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 blip. look at that why soy sauce it again adds more liquid keeps things creamy it makes things go a little bit further but also it adds just a nice umami flavor to it that I really really enjoy so once I mix together all of my ingredients I take my tuna I am using the Good & Gather brand Skipjack Tuna, and it has 28 grams of protein in the entire can, and I'm using the entire can. So I just mix that in there, and then we mix it up real good. There you go. Now you take your bell pepper that you have halved and gutted, and you just stuff the tuna salad into the bell pepper, and that's it. It is so easy, it is so good. It is low carb for lunch, high protein, healthy fats. It checks all the boxes. Um, why low carb for lunch? Because I'm eating rice for dinner and I'm not going to be stingy on the rice that I'm eating for dinner either. So I'm keeping it lighter. I also have carb snacks and stuff planned for the rest of the day. So for now, this is it. So I decided, and I'll get into this more later, but I decided that before I do some more afternoon things, I made myself a latte with those, um, Kona pods that I told you about. And I just wanted to stop in and tell you that um, I didn't realize how frothy Fairlife milk gets. <laughs> I mean, this is just the Fairlife, regular Fairlife fat-free milk, half a cup of it, and oh my gosh, the froth. I am, as somebody who has not made a latte before, um, I'm really impressed, really impressed. So in here is the double shot of Kona and a little bit of maple syrup at the bottom for sweetener and the froth. So let's mix it up and give it a try. All right, let's try my totally made up latte. There's so much foam. That is just delightful. What took me so long? <laughs> you, you make my world spin round and round. Sometimes I don't know what to do because my heart starts racing when I'm with you. slight change of plans in my day in that I didn't go and work out today because after my latte and the quiet time that I had associated with my latte which was lovely by the way I have been really digging I'm reading I'm reading this book and if you watch my live stream from last night I talk about it it's called the ruthless elimination of hurry by John Mark Comer I will talk more about it in future videos but I actually got into one of the practices today mentioned in the book and it was about sitting in silence and Isolation, not, not isolation. They explicitly say isolation is different. Solitude, solitude, <laughs> that was the word they used. Um, and in this book, they have two different definitions. They have two different um, connotations. So I decided because 
for the first time in forever, I'm actually alone, that I should take advantage of the quiet. So I had quiet time, it was lovely. Um, but then after my latte, I don't know if it was too much caffeine, I don't know what it was, but I started to not feel good. And so instead of pushing myself and making myself feel terrible, cause like I, my tummy was really unhappy. I was like, you know what? Let's just keep doing what we're doing. So I cleaned my office. I continued the cleaning process. I got some more stuff done that I had to get done on the computer, things of that nature. So I've been wildly productive today, but in a very unhurried manner, which has felt very refreshing to be quite honest with you. But one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, and I don't know if we'll be able to do it before the four minutes is up on the oven, but um, I have been, I, I had a little come to Jesus moment, so to speak, where I realized today as I was going in and focusing on my refreshing my quarterly goals and making up my goals for April and all of those things, I kind of had the realization that like, oh, hey, Brianna, do you remember when you said that the health and weight loss and fitness thing was going to be your number one priority this year, which for you started in March. Do you remember, do you remember saying this was your number one priority and somehow some way in the flurry of all of the other things on my to-do list, on my goals lists, on my everything, um, trying to really amp up what I do on YouTube and then feeling constantly behind and all of these things and the stress and the anxiety and the imposter syndrome and all of the other things, I somehow forgot that this was my number one priority. And I was like, well, no wonder the progress is no, don't be don't get me wrong. I've actually, I've lost a couple pounds. Like progress is happening, but it hasn't been the priority that it is supposed to be taking in my life. Like this is the year where my health gets in order. Everything else will follow. And I just had that come to Jesus moment where I was like, Alexa, stop. Sorry for those of you that have her. Um, and it was one of those moments where I was like, you're not doing exactly what you said you would do. And so this, my friends, is me recommitting to that in front of you today. Um, April starts soon. By the time you see this video, April will have started. Um, and I'm, I'm recommitted to the thing that's supposed to be number one in terms of my goals list. I can't believe I lost sight of it. And I did. And poof, it happened like that. It was so easy. And it just went. And then all of a sudden, a month goes by and you go, what happened to what was my number one priority? How do these other things sneak in? I tell you, if you're not careful, things happen. All right, we are making salmon bowls. The salmon is out of the oven. This was in a 425 oven. I have learned that my oven actually runs cold, so it would be about 400 for about 18 minutes is what it was in. So now, as you can see, I took my fork and mashed one in. That's what I wanna do. I wanted to be able to flake under a fork because I'm just gonna flake these up off of the skin and then build my bowl. All right, friends, bowls, are one of my favorite ways to be able to balance your macronutrients however you need them to be balanced, right? So this is 100 grams of rice. I cooked a crap ton of rice <laughs> over the weekend. So we had it as a side dish with our dinner that started the week and then we have all this left over so we can create bowls and stuff out of it. So we started with 100 grams of rice. All right, and now I took one of the salmon fillets and I went and flaked that off of the skin and that's 126 which is actually a little bit less in terms of grams than what I had originally tracked. So I got back a couple calories for the day. That's kind of nice. And then we just go ahead and we add all of the rest of our goodies, right? So, oh, I forgot I have avocado too. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. I can't even handle it. So we're gonna put in, and it's more of a pokey bowl than like a sushi bowl, but it's kind of the same thing in my, my world here. The pineapple juice is great because it adds a little something, a little something something, if you know you know. Did I track the cucumber? I have not tracked cucumber yet, so now I gotta do cucumber. Yes, yes, don't mind if I do. Okay, cucumber. And then I gotta get my avocado. Oh, look at her. She's a beauty. She's a beauty. No avocado left behind. I cannot beautifully cut an avocado, but we put it in there. It's delicious, full of healthy fats. Oh shoot, I didn't zero this out. Hold on. 
36, okay. Got 37 grams of avocado. This is why pre-tracking is great, y'all. You never know what you might earn back at the end of the day. <laughs> And then it's time for the sauces. So I have a couple things happening here. I have the pineapple juice in there that's very, very little. I like to do just a dashy dash of soy sauce over the top because I like the flavor. And then you saw me make my little mayonnaise yogurt sriracha thing. This is my spicy mayo sauce, okay? Just put that in there to taste, yeah. It's funny because I don't really love spicy foods, but I love spicy mayo. And then the extra special edition that I am so, so pleased to have. We went to the Asian store that's literally called Asia Mall, and I got myself my very own container of unagi sauce, eel sauce. I love this stuff. I always order extra eel sauce when I order sushi. Now I don't have to do that anymore. And so we're going to drizzle 20 grams on top of this bowl because that's a serving size and it's only 40 calories. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. I need a little bit more. How's that? 17? I don't want to ruin the picture. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So there is my sushi bowl. Poke bowl, whatever you want to call it. I'm so stinking excited. The stats for this bad boy, I should tell you what the stats are. Let me add the cucumber. And did I have pineapple in here already? I did. Okay, um, the total stats for this is 492 calories. So round up to 500, 42 grams of protein, 57 carbs, and 11 grams of fat. I am so excited to eat this. I can't even tell you. All right, the final thing I'm eating for today is this blueberry muffin. If you guys haven't seen my last vlog where I talked about these blueberry muffins, you need to go back and watch it. I'll link it up here for you. And in the description box, this is a combination of two different recipes. I cannot take credit for either recipe. They are not mine. I'm just the one who combined them. This is a Kodiak Cakes blueberry muffin. Delicious, amazing, wonderful. I topped it. I wanted to get a little fancy schmancy. So I topped it with a streusel topping from a blueberry coffee cake muffin recipe by Half Baked Harvest. The two together, absolutely exceptional. This is like a 250 calorie muffin. There's almost eight grams of protein in here. It's filling. It's delicious. It reheats well. Great for with breakfast. Great for a snack. Great for whatever you need it for. Um, so that is what I'm having as my dessert tonight. <laughs>